Mara number one through the outside. It's Macris number three in the setting slot. Paula number five in the opposite slot. Gabby number ten through the outside. Amanda number six, or number thirteen, is uh, also an outside hitter. And then uh, it's Oliver Trees number twenty, middle blocking. Leia, number 19 gets the starting Libero spot. Exciting moment this for the Dutch players to be playing in front of their home fans for the first time for many of them on a big occasion like this and a huge roar as they make their way out onto court. Starting with Juliet Lewis, who will be going through the middle. Followed by the captain, Laura Dikma, who is setting. Then it's Indy Bayens, who can play middle as well as outside and opposite. Number 17, Nicole Udeludikas, is an outside hitter. Nika Dalverop, number 19, also an outside hitter. And it's number 31 in your picture, Eline Timmerman, who's going through the middle. Two Libros to choose from, Kirsten Nip, number one, and Murta Scoop, number nine. Will be Kirsten Nip will get the start. Time to put those butterflies in order before this game gets underway. This is how Brazil are lining up. Gabby and Amanda through the outside. Paula playing as the opposite with Macri setting Mara and Anna Vatrice through the middle. for the Netherlands. Luis through the middle with Timmerman. It's uh, Dikma and Bayens playing as the opposite. Dalvarov and Uri Lutikus through the outside. Luis at position two in the front row. And Dikma playing at, uh, in the back row at position six. First set underway, Brazil in the yellow and blue serving, it's the Netherlands in the famous orange receiving first point goes the way of the Netherlands as they get side out in this Volleyball Nations League round robin match. Louis back to serve, best server after week one of the VNL. It's a good serve, no middle coming for Brazil, have to go out wide and the block shuts them down. Bayens and Timmerman putting up a Dutch wall. And there was no way through, passed over or around. Luis will serve again. It's another good serve. Oh, wow, well, that's Bayern's lack of uh, maturity because Diekman made the dig. So she has to go in and play the ball. Expecting Diekman to come and set it. Well, she can't because she just dug it. Gabby now with the serve. Still able to recycle. And it's a net touch against the Netherlands. Oh, it was who had the swing. Netherlands it was who touched the net. Gabby will serve again. And that's a good leave. Very good serve from Gabby. You can see how he's trying to go in between the two passes, make it difficult for them. Bay ends with the serve. <laughs> Looking for a touch, it's been given. Amanda gets the point. Mara back to the serving line. Plays for Minas Tennis Club. In Sao Paulo, in Brazil. Nicely played, Timmerman to the baseline. Netherlands side out.
Chance here for the Netherlands to increase their lead. Well, that's not going to happen. Super blocking from Brazil. Three players ready and waiting to deal with Uri Litikas. Paola back to serve. Good up from Gabby. That's free ball here for the Netherlands. Not the best ball in. But somehow the Netherlands get the point. Dalderop on the pipe. With enough power to get it into an ill-prepared block. And away. Work from Luis. Diekman lined her up. Luis then got there fashionably late, arriving in time, though, to make that block. And the Netherlands keep a two point lead. Oh, that's a good set. Oh, good up from Diekman. Oh dear. Bayens with the unforced error. Brazil will have the ball back. That's a great pick up from Digma. <laughs> Blocking is holding fast for the Netherlands. Passing wasn't so good. They have their side out. Better see the block from Luis and Ludi Luticus. With the serve, Bayern's now into the front row. It's a big front row for the Netherlands. And they're wasted by Diekma. Only Luis is in a good position here for the Netherlands inside out. Bayern's is over on the left side, but she's an opposite. And uh, the outside hitters on the right hand side, Udi Luticus, it's not her favourite spot. It's a good play to go to the middle, to go to the player that's most comfortable in that side act space. Shoot ball right in between the two blockers. Into the first technical timeout, Netherlands, good for their lead. É um pontinho que vai fazer falta depois, então atenção no bloqueio, se a levantadora tiver, Macris, a mesma coisa, vai jogar em cima da levantadora por enquanto. Vai, não podemos perder a possibilidade de atacar onde ela quer, o fundo tem que jogar no contra-ataque. Atenção no bloqueio, a bola é rápida, na primeira bola a gente já voou para lá. Na primeira bola... For, uh, for Morris to say to his team, Jamie Morrison, not so much. If you want to get involved on social media, hashtag EnjoyVNL, go to Volleyball.world, you can download the Volleyball TV app, catch all of the games going on in the VNL, men and women. Also, go on Twitter at FIVB Volleyball, see what's happening. What's happening here is the Netherlands lead by one. Been a bit of an issue is they're serving in this first set, which is keeping Brazil within touching distance. It's a nice pickup. Oh, Gabby's turned that one back into the block. She was travelling towards the middle of court, would be looking to try and get the fringes if she can, but she's turned it right into the heart of the block. Not the best hitting option taken by Gabby. She looks actually she looked like she was trying to get it wide of that block. Excellent work from the Netherlands. Lois with the serve, second time round to the serving line from her. There's no double touch on the first contact in volleyball. 
And that one by Gabby hasn't found the block, and the Netherlands now lead by three. Brilliant. It was a great set, but it was the only option that Brazil had. Netherlands were ready for it. Macris with the one hand behind the head set. Brazil find that the Dutch blocking is being used to great effect. Timeout called by Brazil. It's a lovely set behind by Macris, but Gabby could only put it into a block that was waiting for it, and then no one able to cover. That's a great ball in. Oh, what a touch from Diekmer, held her ground down the line. Brazil it is, though, take the point. Brilliant line shot. from Dietma. And a brilliant block from the Netherlands. Dalverock getting her hands on that one. Two individual pieces of brilliance from the Netherlands. It is indeed a monster block, but it was off the back of a spectacular dig. Monster block, we have Super Spike, we have Mega Rally. We don't have a phrase yet for the spectacular dig, the dynamite dig, whatever it is it might be. Maybe if you've got an idea of what you think it should be called, get yourself on Twitter and let us know. Right now, the Netherlands leading by three. Siding out to go four in front if they can. Mara with the serve. <laughs> Solid blocking again. Somehow stays in play. Not any longer, though. It's another massive block. This time it's Timmerman, whose timing was perfect. No carry called. Play continues, so Timmerman just comes over the other side and blocks it again. Dalderop with the serve. That time Timmerman was held through the middle by the movements of Anna Beatriz. Couldn't get out wide quickly enough, and so space for Brazil to put the ball on the floor. leave <laughs> Netherlands once lost two of their uh, first week matches they beat Korea 3-1 but uh, unfortunately for them they lost to Serbia 3-0 and Turkey 3-1 that time Luis was in the right place but she didn't close the gap between herself and the net and so the ball went down her own side. Brazil, well, they started with 3-0 victories over China and Russia before they were beaten 3-1 by the Dominican Republic.
Good touch from Gabby, but now out of the play. It has to go on the pipe. Netherlands ready for it. Nice up by Knip. No carry call against Macris. That was a dodgy set. However, in the context of what the referee saw, perfectly fine. Did Brazil take the point. Good effort from Knip, who's keeping Scoot on the on the bench for the moment. Scoot played all of week one. Knip didn't see any of the call. That is the most unique pre-serve routine you are ever going to see from a player. And every time Amanda does it, it honestly looks as if she's going to lose control of the ball. However, she doesn't. Unfortunately, though, she did miss that serve. So that means Dietmar's going back now with a chance to score for the Netherlands. We potentially won away from the second technical timeout. Oh, <laughs> nicely played. We'll have a big 80s-style throw down. Used to be back in the 80s that the middle blockers would go up and do this as an attack, kind of stay in their hand and just throw it around a bit. Now the setters can get away with it, but nobody else can. We'll have the uh, if Netherlands side this one out, then we will go to the second technical. Well, they don't even have to. The ball is long. Anna Patrice with the miss serve uh, into the second technical timeout. Netherlands lead by three in this first set. three or four serves, but we can't go to serving two meters over the net right at people. We got the lead by serving into space, getting them off the net. We go back to getting the lead by doing that same exact thing. In the two hitter rotations, when Lau's in the front row, Juliet, where are you? I want you to step towards Lau. Leave the lobe one-on-one. -on -one. That last time you got like, stuff to your left. Well, Alina, this is what you? Timmerman's been Stand up to. Number 31, Eli You're Timmerman right getting in and closing the block. Stay the block is lined up by the outside hitter. In this case, Dalderop. Timmerman's job is to get in and close the gap between herself and Dalderop and get across the net. She did exactly that. And some very wise words from Jamie Morrison saying that, OK, we missed a couple, but for goodness sake, don't just serve what is the equivalent of a dolly dropper straight onto a player because we might as well just roll the ball back. As he quite rightly said, Netherlands have got their points from serving tough in between the passing units of Brazil, the two gaps in between the three passes, and causing them, therefore, then to be setting away from the net and keeping the attacks off the net and wide. They'll want more of that if they are going to really keep this lead, put pressure on Brazil. Luda Lutikas, who missed her last serve, now back to the serving line for the second time. So far, so good for the Netherlands. And this is a test of character for Udaludica. She's got there the ball, it's ball, she's got the ball, she's waiting to serve, she's having to wait. But like all good players, she's not going to even start her pre serve routine until the whistle goes. Just like a golfer waiting to play his shot, nothing starts until he's ready to go and then goes into his pre shot routine, gets in the zone to play the ball. Same thing here for the players. the whistle for serve and Nuda Lutikas can go through her pre-serve routine bouncing the ball and then jump float oh dear easy one for Brazil to let go Macris to the serving line Set it in the back row for Brazil. Three front row attackers for them. Oh, it's a good serve. Knip beaten by that one. The advantage of having your setter in the back row is that they can have then three attackers moving in the front row. Down the rock moving too late to get out of the way of that for Knip. He wasn't sure if it was going to be hers, but you see the way it just swerved across down the rock into Knip. Good lead that time from down the rock. back to serve. Looking to try and go in between... Well, should have been looking to go in between 10 and 19 from that picture. Just went straight at 19, but... 
You could go to the other side and go to the small space. But unfortunately, the margin for error is bigger. That's what happened. So, Brazil just one behind. Oh, goodness me, it seems like we've stumbled on the Volleyball Nations Missing the Serve League. Hopefully, normal service will be resumed quite literally very shortly. So just to emphasize that, the Netherlands have just brought on Aniek Sebring as a serving specialist in the hope of restoring some semblance of order. They have done, but that's an easy one for Gabby. And it's hammered away through the middle by Mara, just as Jamie Morrison didn't want an easy serve that allows the opposition to get everything they want, i.e. a point and everyone available to hit. Now back to the serving line. Oh, that's a good serve. Dalderop's done very well to get that one off the block in a way. She was under pressure from the serve. Didn't panic when she got the ball out wide. Has gone high and hard off the block. Brazil were in the net as well, which didn't really help. Excellent play from the Netherlands. Daldrop to serve. Unforced error, is it? No, off the block of the Netherlands. Still looking good for the Dutchies at the moment. Serving substitution, double substitution here for the Netherlands with uh, number nine coming on, sorry for Brazil, with number nine coming on. Roberta is the setter into the back row. And uh, that means we have three front row attackers again. This time it's... Uh, a side out though for the Netherlands. Great swing from Timmerman. And the tree's nowhere. Blocking substitution for the Netherlands. Anik Myers has come on. Dietmar's gone off. No recognised setter on court for the Netherlands. Communication absolutely critical now for them as they look to try and make their block defence work. And if they get into transition, just a sensible ball out for someone to have a swing. And although they're not letting it come through at all, excellent blocking from the Netherlands. First on the right side, then on the left. Really good work from Lois and Leia waiting for someone else to play it. Touch, will it come back? Yes, it will. Might even be a bit of a swing, but an easy one to be dealt with, though, by Roberta. Oh, that looked a bit of a dodgy set from Anna Patrice. Play continues. Oh, dear. Well, it was uh, Anna Patrice who touched the net, according to the first referee. Normally, the second ref spots those. But it's a timeout called by Brazil. Netherlands lead by four. They're three away from taking the opening set. Timmerman with the serve. Touch in the block. 
But free ball for Brazil, who have three attacking options. Plus Gabby on the pipe, but good dig from Diekman. Oh, Roberta's got in the way of that, and now it's going to be a down ball, a free ball for the Netherlands. Now they have a chance to take the point. Well, that's not going to happen, that's a cracking block this from Brazil. Loren, who's come on as an opposite player, with a massive block to shut down Enik Myers. Myers has now gone off, Diekmann's back in, need a setter. Red touch by Brazil, Netherlands two away from the first set. Another change for the Netherlands. Reversal of the earlier substitution. Sebring having gone off, Bayern's back in, that ball doesn't stay off of the floor. Brazil with their side out, but for the Netherlands now, goodness me, they just need two side outs and they've got one set in the back. Just see from that play, Dalvarok was still moving. Oh, good serve, Uli Ludicus. Not sure whether to play it or not, didn't get a call from Knip. Netherlands called timeout. That's the type of serve that Jamie Morrison is wanting his team to do. You could see that ball right in between the two players down that panic channel. Let's start normal. Right as she's approaching, okay. make sure we shift over towards zone one. I assume they're going to come back to her again in there. Yeah. We get one pass and one side out. They're going to be in center five, I think, over there. Dubs up. Same plan with isolation there. Make sure we're helping. I know they went over the top the last time. We'll take that risk. I like what we're doing. Let's go. Let's go. Dubs up. Well, it's not some kind of dance music. It is, in fact, referring to the double substitution, saying that the other team, Brazil, are in rotation five with uh, Roberta. And it's the double substitutes that are in. So they know what that means as a team in terms of the type of plays that Brazil are going to come up with. That's all off the back of them needing this side out here, though. Taken. Uli Luticus came in square onto the net. No one got in front of her. She had a free swing in the way she was facing. Set point now for the Netherlands. Brazil are in rotation five. Roberta running across to the net, so the ball put towards Gabby. There's a chance now for the Netherlands. Diekmer goes wide for the set, and they've taken it. Dalderup hammers the ball down. Netherlands take the first set, 25-21. What a great start for the Netherlands in front of the home fans against the team they've only ever beaten once in 26 tries. They've got the first set on the board. Let's have a look at the highlights. Jamie Morrison. He knows his team are going to have to keep serving tough. Their blocking was absolutely fantastic in that first set. Got them out of a lot of trouble. And they'll be looking to keep doing that. 
Brazil only had a couple of swings through the middle, so despite the fact that the Netherlands were missing serves, they were still putting enough pressure on to keep Anna Patrice and Mara quiet. Well, Debbie Pilonstam getting her award, former player for the Netherlands and one influential player as well, who played along the, with the likes of uh, Kim Stalens and Manon Fleert being uh, recognised for her achievements by the Dutch Volleyball Federation. Manon Fleer in the red top, another former great watching on and in fact Manon Fleer also getting an award captained the Dutch team when they won the World Grand Prix biggest uh, tournament that uh, the Dutch won now married to Rinder Numador former uh, indoor and beach volleyball player and uh, with there is uh, the award for Manon her achievements so from the uh, stars of the past to the stars of the present as we get ready for set two here in Appledorn Ludicus to get the second set underway. Good serve. That's exactly what the Netherlands game plan is all about. Serve tough, put Brazil in trouble. And there are several ways of getting a point. The best one is a, an ace serve. The second one is what we've just seen, where the ball comes up on the net, is overpassed, and is then hammered away by the block. The third one is free ball. Good up. Well, the feet went under the net from Lois, but didn't touch the floor, so play continues. A frenetic rally, and now the Netherlands have control of the ball. Dalder up off the block and away. 2-0 the Netherlands. What a great pickup from Knip, although just relying on his skills, playing that with a right hand instead of a left, which is what she should have done. However, ball stayed in play. Dalrop gets the point. And whilst we are watching that rally, the have uh, failed to deliver from the serving line that time. Gabby now back for Brazil. Oh, good swing from Dalrop. Timmerman now in for Knip, into the front row, and that means Lewis is back to serve. Nice up by Uda Luticus. Chris having to play it, so no recognised setter putting the ball up, and that one has been cut wide by Paula. Coming in on that angle that we could see from the end on camera, that you could see at home, you still want to hit through the ball. Through If it was a clock face, you want to hit it smack in the middle into the fringe. If you hit it where she did at 3 o'clock, puts that spin, which just saw it go wide. Great dig from Dietmer. Not going to stay in play, though. Lois couldn't keep it from hitting the floor. Mara now back to serve. Lois did her best to try and keep it from hitting the floor. Well, that's a lot of bounces. Play Dalderop 
just gaining in confidence with every swing on the ball. Good serve. It comes back. Well, it's not even going to come back. What a good serve that is from Indy Baines. Brazil have seen enough. They've called timeout. Center five right now, just a reminder, 20 will run some neck. Middle's neutral, zone four blocker help on that. Let's go, keep going, let's go! Five. Those of you new to the game, wondering why perhaps Brazil didn't wait to the first technical timeout, go down 8-2, because they'd rather go into the first technical timeout. 8-6 up. Technical timeouts are enforced. They're not something that the coaches use for anything other than taking a break, because you can't use them as a tactical weapon. Dutch side saw that coming, but just couldn't react quickly enough to it. Gabby with the tip. The minute she take, took off with the hand in front, there was never a hit coming. No one reacted quickly enough. Paolo with the serve. The ball from Dalderop. Indy Bayens is shut down. That's. A risky play to run. You've got the uh, front court's middle blocker coming on the slide, and then Bayens comes inside, so it makes it easy for Amanda and Anna Beatrice just to step in and close that down. Easily read by Leia. And well put away by Amanda. See the value of the timeout call by Gumaris. 2 6 down, it's now 6 all. And who knows, they might well be going into the first technical timeout, 8 6 up. Netherlands struggling with side out at the moment. Paula with the serve. Play continues, almost a little quick into deep moment. She uses the ball brilliantly to find Timmerman behind. And the Netherlands sided out for a 7-6 lead. Straight up from there. Ball kind of just shot in a bit from Knip, but well worked by Digma and by Timmerman to put the ball on the floor. point we are going to the technical timeout Amanda with her pre-serve routine which is like no other oh that's still in play and that's good work hoisted high so Brazil reset their block defense but still moving backwards is power the ball doesn't get dug Netherlands take the point, and we head to the first technical timeout. The Dutch is leading by one. Firstly, it was Amanda, in fact, she gets up. Watch number 13, bottom of the picture. Ball is set, she's still moving backwards, still moving backwards, and then can't move forwards. When the spiker leaves the floor, you have to be still and in a neutral position, so then you can move anywhere. Amanda couldn't do that. Go. 
That'll be Noli. Make sure we're in there. Did you understand? Gather up's got 10 Let's points go. so far for the Netherlands. Eight in attack, two in block. Uh, despite their passing not being perhaps as good as she would have liked, the rest of her game is doing very well. Thank you very much. On the pipe, on the left side, on the right side. She is the leading point scorer in the match. is now with the serve. That's off the block and away. Not a great deal of room for Lois to work with. And that's why when you're passing the ball at this level, well, Brazil are challenging this. They think um, it's either out or there was no touch. It was as they go for block touch, they believe no one touched it. When you're passing the ball in at this level, you want the setter to be in the middle of the court, ideally, position three, because then when they set the slide behind, they've got lots of room, they can really spread the play. That's, the, oh, that's not touched anybody anywhere at any time. touch of the touch in the player in the back row not in the block so it's the defender it's not touched the block is it touched oh, yes it has it's touched in the back row and again Anna Patrice did that when she touched the net earlier on and the referee called her for a touch she did exactly the same thing with her hands and the referee called her for a net touch. And she's done exactly the same thing again as it's touched her hand. She's made that move to say, no, I didn't touch it. Well, it's a shame the referee doesn't get that view we get, and I'm pretty sure it's not something you can challenge. But it might be the next thing to come in. We didn't, for a while, weren't able to challenge whether the ball hit the floor or not. But now we can. You can see whether the ball's up or down. So Anna Vitriz gets away with it, and the fact is no one can ask her if she touched it, and she's not going to admit to it. Neither would Dietmar if it was her in that situation or any other player. It's up to the referees to see it, the line judges to spot it. And if they didn't, and even though we've seen it, well, it didn't happen. Still got to have talking points in sport. That's what makes it so much fun. touch but it's not going to stay in play and Brazil have moved into a two-point lead now because she's the one who's scoring the points. And scoring the points because she's being used. Get the feeling if the Netherlands could take this set, they could go on to win this one, three nothing. That's a good dig. Good up from Mara, that's great play. And Gabby. Looks like she's put that right on the baseline. Top swing from the captain for Brazil. Leading by example. Macris back to the serving line. 
Brazil with a strong front row for the next three rotations. Oh, good block, Mara right across the net. Indy Bayens going nowhere. That ball hit straight into a Brazilian cul-de-sac. Timeout called by the Netherlands. Uh, let's go ahead and stack here. Center one, we'll stack over on this side. Indy running a one, we'll run a load back behind. We get one side out right now. Uh, when she gets back in the front row, again, a lot of times going over there. Make sure we're trying to load up in that direction. Just expect a lot of balls in there. Be leaning that way. Let's go. Netherlands just struggling a little bit with their serve receive. And now Brazil getting the ball into transition more often. That's a bit tight for Gabby. But no problem at all for Paula as she puts that one away to position five. Very good turn from her. Dalderop with no chance. Mayans has gone off and Mayers has come in to replace her as the opposite player for the Netherlands. Great dig from Leia and it's a net touch unfortunately against Macris as she played the ball. Off the block and away. And so Brazil take the point. Good use of the middle from the Netherlands and from Diekmus. She's not just going to Dalderop. Got to keep Brazil's block guessing. And Mara's hands have gone down before they've gone up. She was never going to get close to that ball. Neither was Leia. Well, it seems pretty evenly matched, aren't they, when you look at the way they're playing against each other. Once they can break each other's passing units down, then the blocks tend to be favourite. Bode Ludicus, high and wide for Dalderop. Oh, that's great up from Leia. It just caught everyone else by surprise, but clever work from Dalderop just to roll it casually over the block. Brazil looking at uh, 3, 10 and 19. Oh, in fact, you can see Leia was still moving backwards as the ball was played. You can take your eye off the ball for a moment in the rally. Just watch how the players move to get into position. Particularly when the pass is made, you know it's going to the setter. Just have a look at how the players move around the setter. And then you'll understand, then you get to see why the opposite block is on the other side of the net. Don't get out to where they need to be because they're being pinned by the movement of the attacking team. Always good to be able to see that from the end on. And if you can go to a game and watch a game of volleyball and you've got a choice of where to sit, and sitting end on for at least one set is always a very good idea. Amanda just taking a breather. And uh, Tayanara coming on in her place. Oh, that's a big hit through the middle for Mara. The 
That's a super spike from her through the middle, that's for sure. to the Netherlands, just like we were at 7-all, at 15-all, next point one, we'll see us go to the technical timeout. Oh, great serve! Big, fat ace serve for the Netherlands from Myers, and that takes us to the technical timeout. Netherlands with the lead, and that's perfect. Right in between, in fact, Gabby thought it was going out right on her shoulder, but it drops like a stone. That would have been the bowler against the batsman who had taken the middle wicket out. Hey, they're in centre five right now. We're going to switch right now. You're going to go into zone four. No, you're probably wrong. You just served, so. Uh, you're up right now. You're gonna go into zone. No, you're up right now. You're gonna go in zone two. Get a block out there. With number 11 in system, all angle. Out of system, we'll go head up. We can block with three on her. Serving wise, they're gonna try to pinch her. If they're too far and you can't get in there, two, do the same thing over again. But if they're too far, go ahead and go on the right side to her right of number 10. Make her pass to the right. Got it? Let's go. Jamie Morrison just telling the front row players where he wants them to go and block. This was that swing from uh, Mara. That really was a question of sea ball, hit ball, and practically burst ball. Mayers with the serve. Just a little bit too much on it. Roberta's coming in, Loren coming in, double substitution, which we saw in set one. And Roberta into the back row to set, Loren into the front row as a hitter blocker. Good up from Leia, but it's going to be free ball for the Netherlands. Four attacking options. Dalarot. Oh, what a pick up from Leia. Oh, no. Well, a little bit of confusion for Brazil. But they've got another chance here. Gabby denied. And it is a point in the end for Brazil, courtesy of Tainara. There was a moment of panic for Brazil as they played the ball over, but somehow Braz uh, the Netherlands weren't able to capitalise. And now it's Brazil who have the lead. Roberto will serve again, the bench looking on. And as yet, uh, Julia B not been on court, neither has Milka. That's a good dig from Gabby. Free ball as such, though, for the Netherlands. They can't get a meaningful swing on it. Dalderop does. And she gets the block to work in her favour. Play. Macris practically forcing that ball to the middle to Anna Vitrice, who was waiting for it. Really good setting, tidy hitting. Going to shoot that ball in was the Roberta from the three metre line. Mara enjoying that. Could have gone anywhere. Could have been an ace as it was. It's point for the Netherlands, all square. Timmerman. Oh, 
Another quick hit. Roberta really keen to find the middle. Watch the movement. Nicely done. Up and early and right in between the two blockers. The movement of Gabby keeping Diekma with her, opening up the gap for the ball to be hit through. Another point for Brazil. Deep cool for a carry. Ludicus with the error. Those of you that were watching the Netherlands play in week one will have seen that from Ludicus under pressure. She just times to over rotate to hit that ball to the line. Nearly took out Guimarães. <laughs> Time out called by the Netherlands. Uh, we'll go low up here. We're, uh, we're staying neutral right now. Go back to the low right there. You're probably going to have the angle open. Where are you to be at? We're going to have the angle of the middle of the pretty neutral. They are playing some games. If you see a move, feel free to go, but I think this is a good option. We get one pass and one side out. Uh, we're going to be in center one. They're going to be where? They're in center two. Double sub, I think, right now. So just make sure we're in good spots. Let's go. That was the point that almost cost Brazil. But somehow, they come up with it. That's how they're playing so far in this set. Both teams having at it, both teams giving it their all. And of a trees. Overpass, trouble for Digma, but uses her strength well to get the better of Mara. That was a David and Goliath battle. block from Uni Luticus. It is a monster of a block. Lined up the end, put the ball down. Luis was getting out there, but she didn't close the gap between herself and the net. Gabby had the angle to put the ball away. Double substitution reversed. Paula comes in to the front row, Macri's into the back row to serve. Brazil keep three front row attackers for another three rotations. Nicely done, off the block and away. Netherlands one behind. Brazil, though, in the driving seat in the rally if their side out holds firm. Potentially, they could side out to win the set and level this match at one all. Uda Luticus with the serve. Macris off and running. Oh, what a block that is. Down the rock and Luis to bring the Netherlands level. It's another monster block. Gabby in trouble from the get-go, and then Luis making sure it didn't come back. Timeout called by Brazil. Hey, a lot of quick in center one on a good pass, so if it's in your zone, go ahead and help. Quick three out. If they go over the top of it again, it's on me. Nice blocking right now. Out of system, he just said it. It's high, wait for it, make sure we're head up. We can go, uh, go with two on both these. Let's go! Let's go. The in system is when you've got all your attacking options. Udi Luticus trying to serve to put Brazil out of system. And she's done that. In fact, she's got herself a touch day serve, and the Netherlands now go in front. Going after Gabby, 
And it has brought about points. Gabby under pressure, number 10, likely to get this ball again. Indeed she does, but a better ball this time. But it's still a great block from the Netherlands. There was no middle coming, it gone out wide. Paula trying to put it down. And it's just a block fest here for the Netherlands. Monster block after monster block after monster block. Oh, and chuck in a nice serve. Set point saved by Brazil, but what a position the Netherlands find themselves in here. If they side this out, they're going to be 2 nothing up. That was too quick for Nip. 93 kilometers an hour. Gabby now with the serve. Jasper's come in, number 13. Oh, it's an ace serve for Brazil! Number 13, Jasper had come in just to shore up the passing unit, but there was confusion for the Netherlands, and Gabby's got herself an ace. Dalderop's left it. It's a brilliant serve from Gabby. First team to get two clear takes this set. Great up from Leia. Gabby on the pipe. Oh, what a swing from her! There's a player that means business, and now Brazil have set point. They were staring set point in the face, and they've faced it off and now have set point. Oh, could leave from Nip, that was close. 25 all advantage Brazil, they're siding out each time for the set to give themselves set point chance but they still have to win it from serve at the moment Netherlands have to win two from serve Brazil have to win one point from serve so we're back to old school volleyball here when you could only score a point if you won the rally when you were serving would you believe it it's an ace back from the Netherlands and now they've got set point what a turnaround what a roller coaster of a set! What a serve! Luis, the VNL's best server after week one's just got an ace, and now it's set point for the Netherlands. Forced out wide. Oh, and it's off the block and away. Brilliant play from Brazil. You cannot take your eyes off this game for a second. Mara back to serve. Anna Patrice now into the front row for Brazil. Rotation five for the Netherlands, so three front court attackers available. Dalbarop, Timmerman, and also uh, Mayers. It's gone in the middle to Timmerman, doesn't have a hard swing. That's a bit tight though, should favour the Netherlands. It does favour the Netherlands. Three blockers way, way across the net. And it's set point once more for the Dutchies. Van Aalen has come in for the Netherlands. Dietmer's gone off, and that means that they are throwing some caution to the wind here. A big block at the net. Oh, great pick-up, there's going to be a swing for it now, Dalderop. Good up by Gabby. Oh, goodness me, Brazil surviving yet again. Some gritty volleyball from both sides. Diekmer's back on. Van Allen has gone off. Nip crawling along the floor. Unfortunately, though... They couldn't take the point. Brilliant work from Brazil. Parla with the serve. Good up from Macris. Dalderop. Oh, no confusion for Brazil. Leia, and it looked like it was Gabby. 
Undecided about who was going to actually play it. Leia waited, uh, so too did Gabby. Udi Lutikus back on for the Netherlands into the front row. Jasper's gone off her job in the back row. Passing and defending has been done. Set point yet again for the Netherlands. Ooh, trouble here for Brazil, potentially. Oh, I don't believe it! How lucky can you get? As lucky as Teonara. That ball rolling across the top of the net. Somehow landed on the side of the Netherlands. Teonara off, Amanda on. And it's all square. We're going to keep on going until somebody can get too clear. Oh, it's a huge block, Anna Batrice and Brazil turn it around once again in their favour, and they have set point. The Netherlands, however, are challenging this. They think there may well have been a net touch. Are they, though, playing for time? A very cool and calm Jamie Morrison making the challenge. It just does break things up a bit. It's been a frenetic pace, hasn't it? These last few points, one serve after another, after another. And a chance for a breather, chance to recollect, especially to collect themselves, especially if Brazil have got this point. And they have indeed, because there was no net touch. It was the ball that touched the net. But it's just a breather that perhaps the Netherlands needed here. Brazil serving to try and take the set. Momentum back with Brazil. Amanda with the serve. The ball in. Oh, what a pick-up from Macris, a swing for the set. Gabby, has she found the blockers? Yes, she has. And Brazil take the set. 30-28, it is one all here in Appledorn. This is how it was done. Anna Batriz with the ball behind, and she's wrapped it off of the fingers of Dietmar. Guimarães delighted. That was a hard-fought set for Brazil. And a pivotal one, you just felt, did you? If Netherlands had taken that, well, would have Brazil been able to have responded or not? But at one all, now it's anyone's. What a set that was. Take your pick, some fantastic moments from the highlights. time to just catch your breath and take in try and take in all that happened in that last set uh, John Stuber with the glasses who's the uh, the master of ceremonies here for the on-court activities going on 
his daughter Joy Stuber plays on the World Tour. <laughs> I don't think she saw that one coming. John just said, no, you'll be all right. It's only a volleyball. Trying to get that one. They're trying to get it uh, into the car. And that one's gone in, so the young lady will get a prize. Oh, brilliant. She gets a replica top. That's fantastic. And it's signed. Oh, that's even better. Well, worth getting a ball in the head for if you're going to get a signed shirt. That's fantastic. John Stuber doing a great job. His daughter Joy plays on the uh, World Tour for representing the Netherlands for Beach. The playing partner Marlene Van Ersel. Those two having a very good season so far on the World Tour. to the action and uh, change for the Netherlands number 18 waiting to come on to court who hasn't seen much court time Manik Jasper <laughs> set three underway it's one all here in Appledore Macris with the serve for Brazil Netherlands have made a couple of changes. Myers is in, and so too is Jesper. Dalderop having a rest. And Jesper gets the point. Another player having a rest is uh, Indy Bayens, number 16. Luis back to the serving line. Very hard hit from Paula. One thing that Brazil have, and Brazil have always had, and makes them one of the toughest teams to play against, is that grit and determination. They never give up, they never give in. And having taken the second set the way they did, it could be trouble here for the Netherlands. Well, that's a nice hit. Marit Jasper. 1 meter 80 touches 3 meters in spike height plays for the ladies in black arken 78 caps for her very experienced player in the context of this team that's a good serve gabby often chasing free ball or down ball for the netherlands another chance for the team in orange Good up. And it is the uh, extra height of Mara getting the better of Tenara to put the ball down. Tenara won't mind that though, neither of them touched the net, so it's all good. Deeper giving the attacking signals to her hitters. Mara wants the ball. That's too easy for Brazil. Well, that's great block. Timmerman sparing Diekmann's blushes. She'll be thanking her for that later. Another my block, and quite literally my block from Timmerman. Did it all on her own. My block synonymous with the beach tour, particularly in Stad, and as was Clark and Furt getting the whole crowd behind that chant. Well, that's a good dig, but it won't stay in play, unfortunately. Clips played very well. Scoot has just been watching on. The other Libero for the Netherlands, not had a chance to come on court yet. Jamie Morrison knows what he wants to do. He's playing with a, effectively a backup 14. 
for the first couple of weeks of the VNL as the the regular players having a rest, having just come off the back of a, a gruelling domestic duty playing Champions League volleyball around Europe. And Balsham. So on, just been given a few weeks holiday before they'll come in to join the team. And it's a great opportunity for the youngsters here to make a name for themselves and make it difficult as much as they can for the starters. Great that. Well, the referee saying that it's a, a fault from Digma, the back row player playing the ball above the height of the net, which he showed the sign for an illegal attack. Not only playing it above the height of the net, but playing it uh, on the side of Brazil. Easy swing for Udi Uticus. Ball in from Nip, plenty of options. You can see Brazil then struggling to get multiple numbers out in the block. Brilliant, Macris so quick with her hands straight across the net like that. Really important when you're the blocker at the net that you take the right keys, the right information. And the first one, when the setter's in the front row, is the setter's touch. That's what you've got to stop first, because she could come over on two. Then it's the quick ball, and then it's the ball that goes wide. Yeah. Anna Patrice was pinned in the middle as Dickman went up, had to wait, couldn't get out to help with the Gabby, who was trying to block Luis. Not much choice for Macris with that one to play it over, but it might still fall kindly here. Gabby will have a swing. Oh, right through the block. Mayers and Lois were there. But Gabby found the gap. Plenty of real time information coming to Jamie Morrison through that tablet. And also, he gets the opportunity to look at the last point as well from the view that we have here, end on. So he can see those gaps in the block, he can see the movement of players as we can. And we can see how fast that ball went out wide. And then the swing before Brazil finished their block. In fact, Mara having to go twice because she was concerned about the middle. Touch by Uda Luticus. Good up from Leia. And that's a very nice swing from Paula. No chance at all for the Netherlands. It's a good dig. Free ball, though, for the Duchess. Three front court attackers. Pipes also available. Jesper can only go with the tip. And now Brazil have it. Oh, no, they won't. That's too tight. Gabby did well to get it off the block, but it's a chance here now. And taken eventually. Uno Luticus with the tip. Netherlands edge in front. First technical timeout of set three. Netherlands lead by one. You may have noticed when you were watching those rallies that the lines judge appeared to be stood at the back of the court in the middle. Just two line judges now. The Hawkeye means that ball in, ball out can be challenged. Right over the line. Number three, the setter is also coming under. But make sure we're tipping smart if we are going to tip. I would rather us hit aggressively. Go ahead, come back while you get water. This involves you. Blocking wise, we're drifting all over the place. If the ball comes off the net, Make sure we're loading and getting our feet there. That last time against the sea, you were flying through it. Get there and go straight up. 
That last time when we added that assistant ball, we weren't closed. It was because we were flying and not crossing over. Load up, get straight up and down if we can. Great words Let's from go. Jamie Morrison as we have a look at the uh, that last rally. Macris brings it into play, free ball for the Netherlands. And Jamie Morrison was saying that they've rather when they were hitting the ball than tipping, but they're going to tip. Something like that will work. You can see the shoulders in front of the hips for Uli Lutikus. Didn't get her push her hips through to then come in and swing on the ball. It's a bit too far in front of her. And the one thing Jamie Morris was just talking about was the drifting. He wants players to get out, load. In other words, get their outside leg, whichever one it is. They're going left. It's their left to plant so that they can jump straight up and then go straight across the net, not drift straight past the point of impact. Great blocking for the Netherlands, exactly like that. Up and across to make it difficult for Brazil to get past. Best chance you've got then of getting your hands directly across the net if you're not jumping laterally. Luis with the serve, Netherlands lead by two. Oh, that's a good serve, but it's just out. You can see the line judge is out there. The line judge's roles now, just two of them, is more about touches off of the block than it is about ball in, ball out, because actually, they're not actually looking down any lines anymore. Apart from the uh, serving line on service. And then move back to the middle of court. Point for the Netherlands. Dalverop leading the way with 16 points for the Netherlands. And it's Gabby leading the way for Brazil with 10. Dalverop currently off court though. That's a good block. Macris is on the three-metre line, setting the ball towards the net. Had to travel a couple of metres before Mara could have a swing. That was time for that block to be formed. A monster block for the Netherlands. Timmerman making a sidestep and getting across the net. It's a good serve. Free ball for the Netherlands. Two players backing off Timmerman and Jasper. Timmerman slide behind, ball down, point, the Netherlands, they lead by four. Brazil has seen enough, they've called timeout. Moving Gabby away from her teammates, free ball, Timmerman, Jasper waiting. Simon was off on the slide and cut it straight back cross court. Mara couldn't get there. It wasn't the fastest, but it was accurate. There was the thing. Mara's going across, could never get above the height of the net. Mara now back to the serving line. Excellent game that we're watching here. And hopefully wherever you're watching it from around the world, you're enjoying it too. Netherlands have the lead in this set. But if the last set was anything to go by, it's certainly not guaranteed they'll go on and take it. Brazil have been fighting really hard again. Well, that's going to be four touches because as it went over, I think Anna Patrice may well have touched her. Brazil want to challenge a block touch here. What they're saying is, that, but that's not what the referee was calling for there, because he's saying that um, as the ball was played and it went over a player, they touched it. But they're asking, Brazil are asking to know whether or not the Netherlands touched this ball at the net 
which therefore might mi mitigate that fact and say that there were only three touches because it hit the block first. But my first thought was that the referee called for four touches because once it was dug and then it went over a player, that touched, it touched the player, it went over. And then it was touched again for three and then the fourth trying to dig it back over. But either way, we're going to have a look. One thing that has been proven brilliantly with the challenge system and the block touch or no block touch is that actually nine times out of ten, when a player goes up to block it and the referee say, no, it hit the net, it's, it doesn't count, it hits the net and then actually hits the block. And it's one of those things as a blocker, when the, you think the ball has hit the net and hit you, you don't get that feeling of the ball actually hitting you and you quite often go, no, it didn't touch me, it hit the net. Genuinely, that is. Obviously, there are some players who go, no, it never touched me, even when they know full well it did. But it's always worth it. If you've got the opportunity, if you're coaching and you, you've got this challenge system available, then you can challenge, 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 challenge those four-touch calls. And the referee saying quite clearly, no, it was four touches. <laughs> Kumari still doesn't agree, though. No, you're wrong. Now, I don't care what the telly says, not interested. Wasn't four touches, and he's going to have a rant now. He's going to have a, he's having a chat to the uh, technical delegate, but well, that's not going to help either. Free ball might help Brazil here. And it certainly does, as that one is hammered away by Tainara. with the serve. another big hit passing suddenly gone up a notch now for Brazil and that means they're able to release the ball out wide and get one-on-ones Netherlands aren't able to really force the issue in the block there are gaps appearing and Brazil are taking full advantage That's a good touch from Dietma. Equally good play from Brazil. Not going to get past the Dutch block like that. Uda Luticus and Luis got their timing perfect. Into the technical timeout, Netherlands lead by five. This is how they got there. Uda Luticus getting the touch to give the Netherlands the point. It's just seemed to stay in the air. And there's nothing Anna Patrice could do to get the ball back. Hey, their game plan the entire time is when Laura's here, set here. So again, if they run stake, step. If they run neck, you can even think about doing this. But everything's coming over here. Just make sure we're there. And again, strong hands are getting some good touches. Let's do what we're doing. Go, Let's go. Eline Timmerman, middle blocker, number 31 for the Netherlands. Been having a good game so far. 20 years of age. And showing what's required to operate at this level through the middle. Slide behinds, great blocking. And serving as well on occasion. Waiting for the whistle. <laughs> Still waiting. Second referee having a little chat with Kumarish here. 
to do with the rotation. Morris is now being t told to come and have a look. They may have got their rotation wrong here, Brazil. Certainly the second referee pointing at players. It's either a rotation error or a substitution error. Something's not quite right. The uh, Paolo Barros Jr., the assistant coach, the glasses on, also having a little chat. To try and work out exactly what's going on. So far, it seems that everyone's been rain and served more than once. It can't be a rotation error, otherwise that would be a, a real problem. It may well be to do with uh, who the last server was and who should be on court. If they've missed a substitution, then it might show the wrong player back to serve. So it could well be that the table has missed a substitution, and of course the next player back to serve, or well, the next player is not the right number, that's being shown on the screen to the what's on court. Well, they will get to the bottom of it shortly, it just means the players have to wait. Just talking about Mara, number one. It's a little bit of a wait, but it's all sorted now. And everyone is where they should be. And now Deepman can get ready to serve. That's a great dig from Knip, but it doesn't stay in play. So they'll get their side out. Netherlands in a commanding position, though, in this set. So they've made a change. Mayane's coming in. First glimpse of her in this match. Mara off. Mayane at 1m85, plays for the Minas Tennis Club in Sao Paulo in Brazil. Gabby slowed down. Dietmer will force this out wide for Meyers. Oh, what a swing! That is just wonderful. Cross court shot. 4 to 4. It is indeed a super spike from Anik Meyers. Transition play off the net as well, and then gets into a good position. Couple of steps, bang, cross court. That's brilliant. Another chance for the Netherlands into transition. Mayers a little bit more work to do against two blockers. That's not going to happen. Brilliant blocking from Mayani, who's just come onto court. Gets her first point of the match. That's off the block and away from Mayers. Oh, that's a good swing. Gabby taking that in rhythm, practically hitting that on the up. And what I mean by that is he was probably could still have gone a little bit further into the air, but take it very quickly. It's a really nice swing. Too quick for anything the Netherlands could get to or do anything with. That's a good pick up by Knip. 
Yes, we'll just keep it in play. In fact, she's caused problems. Oh, yes, well, really well done by Jasper. Great thinking from her. Playing the ball into the block. In fact, she got it right between the two blockers, and then that was where the confusion came from. Lacris got a touch. Mayana really wasn't sure where it was going. Easy leave that time for Gabby, who has been the subject of the Netherlands serving throughout this match. First serve of the match, not a bad one. The chances for the Netherlands to run the middle, but not hit hard enough by Timmerman. Tiana getting it off the block, but well done by. Oh dear, that'll be two touches against Diekman. She'll laugh that one off. Move on to the next one. Sometimes it happens. You just have to get on with it. Brazil just three be three behind. Putting a little pressure here on the Netherlands, if they can. Oh, that's a wild one from Meyers. Brazil now two behind, they're getting closer. Guimaraes has seen it all before, though. And he knows, despite the pressures that are on the team to perform, he knows the reality of the situation. With a team he's got. Timeout called by the Netherlands. Hey, when you're in trouble, make sure you're doing something smart over there. Same thing, Alina. Walk out instead of throwing it to six, get short to three. Make sure we're getting them out of system when we're in trouble. Here we go. Let's go. Suggestions from Jamie Morrison if you're in trouble instead of throwing it to six, I deep to the middle. Throw it to three, just over the block, and that's right in between where everyone stood. Can cause confusion. serving run oh and it will continue because Timmerman has drifted out to the line but her body position was all shaped up cross court she's hit it right back to where the block was waiting Tainara with a wonderful block one behind now off the block or maybe not well they are going to challenge for touches just looking at the way deep has been setting up on that rotation she's starting at three and, and then kind of hanging around there so the ball's been passed at two and a half and she's been going backwards every time pretty much to make the set which has then meant the ball to the middle the ball to the outside has been slightly out of where it should have been really want your setters wherever their start position is just to start sort of start around two and a half well that's caught the finger off uh, Diekman so Brazil will take the point and then move towards the ball every time you're playing volleyball you want to be moving through the ball the only time that's not going to happen is when you're making a defensive dig where you're trying to soak up the energy of the ball I guess even then to a degree you could argue you're putting your hips through the ball to get the ball up into the air through under and through Yeah, Timmerman makes a mess of it. Would you believe it? Brazil now have the lead. Timeout called by the Netherlands. They'll have none left in this set now.
Nice look at touch. The block looks to have gone wide. Netherlands have taken the points, barring any challenge Brazil might make. Right, as that one clipped the net, doesn't trouble Brazil though. They side out again. <laughs> Loren coming in. And so too Roberta as they make the double substitution in the Netherlands. Now Brazil, I should say, my apologies. Netherlands haven't had that luxury of being able to make a double substitution to keep the setter in the back row, something Brazil have done throughout this match. And this is the issue that has blighted the Netherlands in week one. We saw it a little bit in the set, in uh, set two, which ultimately Brazil went on to win. It's happening again here now, those errors right at critical moments, giving momentum to the opposition, putting pressure on the Netherlands. Luticus has got some work to do here. Down ball for Brazil, three front row attackers. Quick to the middle, and Matrice, though, is slowed down. Good up by Myers. Oh, what a play, another cracking block from Brazil. And they now lead by three and are two away from going 2-1 up. A serve from Roberta. Set point Brazil now. That's a brilliant serve right over the top of Ludaluticus over her left shoulder. Ludaluticus has gone back to the bench. Gaspers back on. Roberto with the serve. Has that caught the block? It doesn't look like it. It looks like Brazil have taken the set. 25-20. And by two sets to one, they lead. What a turnaround for Brazil here in Appledore. from the set. How costly has that been for the Netherlands? Jamie Morrison deciding not to play Dalderop, number 19. And it was all pretty close, except for those last few points. Brazil pulled away, courtesy of the unforced errors from the Netherlands. Nine in all. And look at that, Brazil only gave the Netherlands one point. That's if you believe stats.
interesting to see what the Netherlands can do to turn this around in this set for uh, Morrison. It's a question of, does he bring back Dalderop, let her go on, or does he just say, right, guys, you've got yourselves into this, get yourselves out of it. And actually, it was so close. It was just that run of unforced errors at 22-20 uh, that cost them, because one led to another led to another, whereas in the past, in the first two sets, the one error at a crucial point never let, led to another one. They were able to, to get on with it, get themselves out of it. It was a symptom of the first week for them. And you just think, with the way that the Brazil won that third set, and won the second set, just maybe played on their minds. But we'll have to see what happens now in this fourth set. It is well within the grasp of the Netherlands to make this theirs and take it to a decider, which if you're supporting the Netherlands, you'll want. If you're a neutral, you probably want. And if you're supporting Brazil, well, you're expecting them to take this set. Great start for Luis. Looking for hands, but not finding them. Good serve to bring Diekner off of the net. Now that was close, very close. Close enough to be called in, in fact, as Jasper delivers one cross court. Really good swing. Luis. Great touch from Diekma. Luticus is turned by the ball. The ball in. Just looked as if Diekma set that a tad low for Timmerman. And she tried to, to try and adjust to the ball and has made the error. Just like that, Brazil have levelled up. That's a better set. However, the result's the same. Anna Matriz waiting. Brazil take the point this time from block. Again, yes, we're buzzing around through the outside. Just wonder whether or not Dalderop has picked up an injury or some reason for her not to be on court. She was playing very, very well. 16 points, still no one's got anywhere near her. And she didn't play all of the last set for the Netherlands. Timmerman's got 11, Jasper 9, Ludolitikas 8, and Luis 9. Brazil spreading it around a bit. Paula's got 10, Gabby has 12, and Tenara has 10. That's nice. 
That's what you want. When your front court swing hits her, in that instance, uh, Merit Jasper isn't passing the ball. She's going to get out wide quickly and then be available to go on a quicker ball out wide, which is then enables her to have the swing before the block can get set. You see uh, Dalderop seems to be in fine fettle, just knows she's not going to be playing. Tracksuit top on and watching. That's excellent blocking from Brazil, uh, from the Netherlands to deny Brazil. Tenara shut down. Oh, that's a good serve. That won't come back. Leo making what can be best described as a swing you'd make if you were playing baseball, going to hit the ball as opposed to a swing you would make if you were playing golf. You need to get one shoulder under the other, not both shoulders coming around in the same line. Block used by Anna Patrice. Brazil back to within a point. That was going behind Mayers on the pipe attack. You want to travel into the ball. The ball wants to be set on a line that you just come through and hit. That one was going behind her. Got to it a little bit too early. So all square. Netherlands looking for side out to have the lead, but momentum seems to be with Brazil at the moment. That's an excellent ball in. But not a good swing from Udi Lutikas. We go into the technical timeout. Brazil lead by one and by two sets to one. Sport here holds 5,500 spectators. We've got 4,800 in brilliant attendance for day one of week two of the VNL here in Appledore. And all fully engaged with what's going on on court, plus the uh, great work being done by the MC John Stuver and co, part of the VNL crew here, engaging the fans whilst the action is going on and also whilst it's not. If you want to get involved, you can get onto Twitter, you can download the FIVB Volleyball App TV, catch all of the matches going on in the VNL in 2019. Now, the action on court with Anna Beatriz for Brazil, leading the Netherlands by a point and by two sets to one. Oh, that's a lovely set out wide. See the speed of that ball. And then Udaruticus using that. She's in a position to go. That's why she got a quicker ball. And Macris couldn't finish the block. Lucas left a lot of line and Paula said thank you very much. Chris will serve. Easily dealt with by Macris. That was uh, just moving away. Parler, she went to have that swing and didn't get the contact she wanted. So Dickma goes back to serve all square. Gabby's been the target for most of the match. She was targeted then. Double block. A massive monster block. 
of which there have been plenty. Mostly, it has to be said, for the Netherlands, despite the fact they're trailing by two sets to one. But it's about the block, the discipline, the fact that the players are across the net and into opposition court. Good lead from Gabby. Both teams employing a high line with their serve receive units, giving them the opportunity to volley the ball in if it's served around the shoulder area. Good lead. So when the teams are trying to push the serving receive units deep like that, it means that it's easier to work out if it's going to go long or not. Uda Luticus now with the serve. And that's also the problem. When you play a high line and you don't volley it, you try to pass it, you're going to get in trouble because it's around your shoulders. Leia's been caught twice like that now. In situations when they look at the take later and think, should have volleyed that. Well, that's a good serve right in between Tainara and Leia. But an opportunity to get it into transition not taken. Was it a battling? Side out from Brazil, Udalutica spending a little bit of time watching her serve instead of getting into position. Mayani kept her place on court from the last set, having replaced Mara. Nicely done. Dikma went down to her knees so she could create a little bit of time to give Lois opportunity to get in and try and pin the middle and then when she went out wide there was enough room then for the outside to work you can see Anna Patrice trying to get there but a little bit late because she had to wait for Lois and then doesn't finish the block great serve that's not coming back practically a slam dunk from Timmerman both hands on the ball above the height of the net and there was only one place that was going straight down Brazil called timeout. Make sure you're thinking that. Remember with number five, we're taking angle. We're in there. If it is inside, zone five, just be ready for the ball down the line. I think we can dig it. We'll be down there every single time. Here we go. Go. Let's go. A big ooh as Gabby played that because it potentially could have been called for a carry. But again, really good serving from the Netherlands. That was going right across Gabby. The high line for her to volley it didn't quite get it right. Luis. Better ball in. Chances here. Hammered into the block, but. The block doing its job. It's not about the kill blocks, the monster blocks. It's about slowing the ball down, getting it into transition for your team to have an attack. Another chance here, but Jasper's just going to have to give it back to Brazil. And they make sure, well, should have made sure. However, Paula has cut across that to hit the line, put too much spin on it. You can see the spin taking it away from the sideline. Got to hit through the ball. Technical timeout number two. Massive lead for the Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands oh, let the, the uh, lead slip in the last set when they had a 22 20 lead. But in this fourth set they have bounced back they put the previous set behind them they're playing really well some great blocking some really good serving that's putting Gabby under pressure and giving them their opportunities they have a five-point lead they're using the middles they're using the outside they're using the pipe they're distributing the ball very well through Dietmann 
and they are well worthy of this lead. The question is, though, can they hold on to it? This is how it's been, 25, 20, 30, 28, 25, 21. First set was the 25, 21 for the Netherlands. Chases on, oh, that's a really good pick up from Jesper, but now out of the action. But somehow, Mayers gets it off the triple block and out of play. It was all very congested over on that right side of court. But Myers does really well. Look, she's given herself that space. At least she can come in and have the attack. Oh, would you believe it came back off her face? Incredible stuff. So she gets blocked, and then it came off her face, come back, hit the block, and went out. Changes for Brazil. Roberta's come in, and so too Loren. Double substitution, so they've gone back to rotation five of Brazil. So a new challenge here for the Netherlands. Anna Beatriz and Lorena working brilliantly. Is the comeback on? Great blocking from Anna Beatriz. Lorena with the serve. Just over two hours of play gone here in Appledorn. It has fizzed by in what has been a truly encapsulating match. Yes, but this time works the block of Roberta. Mayers with the serve. Oh dear. Well, in the context of where things are going, this is a huge lead for the Netherlands. And even given their capitulation in the last set, Surely they can hold on to this to see it into a decider, which is what the neutrals want, it's what the home fans want. But obviously not what you want if you're supporting Brazil. Sorry, not sorry, a serve. Look at the reactions from the Brazilian team, a mixture of... <gasps> oh, glad that went over to yes, or oh, never in doubt. Tenara will serve again. It's a good one-on-one -on -one from Gabby, continuation block, yes, but also gets a continuation block, has another swing. Good up from Leia, chance here, Gabby goes wide. And she can only get the continuation. And in the end, Roberta steps up to make the block and deny, yes, but... Just three points in it now. Netherlands call the timeout. I'm going to cool them down right here. Again, one pass, we'll run our offense. Both is good, they were calling over you over to come forth. Keep going. One set up. Yes, go. Let's go. All right, hop, hop, hop. Yes, I had you a move. This thing in the middle, I'm going to parar de. Quero empurrar a figura ali. E aí, Lorena, tem jogado mais de medo. One side out required, and they're back on track. Tenara looking to make sure if she can, that, that doesn't happen. That's not made the sideline, Tenara had the swing, there was only one blocker in front of her, and an opportunity for Brazil goes begging. Netherlands now looking that little bit more comfortable and settled in the set. Easy lead for Gabby. She's worked very, very hard in this match as the captain for Brazil. 
Netherlands have thrown pretty much the kitchen sink at her from the serving line. Good up. So, uh, this time with the tip, dealt with by Mayers. No real room for Uri Lutikus, who didn't get a full swing. That one's deemed to have gone in the net and not touched the block. Challenge opportunity potentially for Jamie Morrison and the Netherlands. And indeed they are. Let's, let's see whether or not my nine times out of ten, the ball into the net does catch the block theory. Actually, it's more than a theory. Well, that's what I've been told from Hawkeye. We're going to find out, though. Maybe this is the one in ten. If anything, just like we've seen before, that calling this challenge does mean that there is a bit of a breather here for the Netherlands, because Brazil have been slowly but steadily getting their way back into this set. A five-point lead is now two, although it could be, it would be a let play if uh, the challenge is correct. So here it goes into the block, well, I tell you what, I'd like to see the net. I'd say that caught the block from that position because there's no way it could have gone that way otherwise. And indeed, confirmed by Hawkeye for the ball to have gone in at that angle and then gone off the way it did. It had to have caught the arms and it was above the height of the net. It just doesn't do that otherwise. It would have gone straight down. And Barros is arguing, and he will do that. Black is white in this situation, and that's all to do with. It's all to do with the, the, the angle that everyone's just been shown. Because it's not 100% absolutely accurate and showing the fact that it could, we can clearly see a ball touch. Because the ball is obscuring the arm, Brazil are going to argue this until the end of days. However, Hawkeye have got a very good view with their high-definition cameras that show up to 200 frames per second. We get to see 25 frames per second. Blown up on a big screen like that, it looks pixelated. It doesn't look great because they've had to uh, compress it down to be shown on the big screen. But you can be absolutely sure that the Hawkeye team and the challenge referee have seen that ball hit the arms of the blocker. Or arm, I should say. So a little bit of a wait while we uh, sort the scores out. It should be, I'd have thought it was 1916 because we were 1917 with the uh, point to. The point was given to Brazil, wasn't it, as 17-19. Um, so they came back, so it's now a let play because the, the um, challenge by the Netherlands was successful. The point had gone against them, but because it's a challenge, it's which has been successful, then it's a replay of the point, as opposed to a point going the way of the Netherlands. That's why it's 1916, and service remains with Brazil. Somehow, no, it didn't stay in play. Referee says it hit the floor. That's a challengeable equation. You can uh, say, no, I did dig it, if you want. No, but he dug that. The ball hit the floor. Good serving. 
That's been the key for the Netherlands, and they've managed to keep that going throughout this set, despite what happened in the last one. Brazil call the timeout. Serving is the key to success in volleyball. The ball did indeed touch the floor. Amanda's come on, Tenara's gone off. Free ball, although Roberta's had to play it, so no set of putting the ball up. Both teams are in a neutral position here. Neither can get a really good swing on the ball. And Gabby trying to hit a winner from a non-winning position. And he's done exactly that, come up with the error. So Netherlands now in a really good position in this set. That's a really good pick-up. Oh, what a shame. In part, that was the spin on the ball after Jaspers had dug it. Made it very difficult to control. Brazil take the point. Scrappy though it was, they don't care. They have the point. Roberta to serve. Loren in the front row with Mayani and Gabi. Wasted opportunity by Brazil. Netherlands now two away from taking this match into a deciding fifth set. Oh, that's trouble for Brazil. Or is it? What a block that is, and silence befalls the Omnisport because the Netherlands were given a free ball courtesy of the overpass. But then Mayani comes up with a wonderful block. It's another good touch. That won't be coming back, though. Netherlands now have set point. the Netherlands who take the set, 25-18. It's all square here in Appledore. It's now going to be a race to 15 to see who'll take this match. Well, you can't take your eyes off this match for a minute. The uh, captains will meet with the first referee to do a coin toss to see who'll serve and who'll receive. No technical timeouts in the decider. Uh, eight points will change ends. Still two timeouts, two challenges, six substitutions. Here are the highlights from that last set.
what a match we've witnessed. Just, well, two and a bit hours gone in a flash. Yeah, so here are the set of contacts. That uh, green area is just about where you want the ball to be played, although perhaps not all the way down. Sort of around the bottom of the six in the five and the 65 is ideal, because when it gets below that, you're running out of room to set the ball behind you. And you can see the vast majority of uh, the passing from Brazil has been in that sweet spot, right in the middle of court, which means you can then go and spread the play where you want it. But also you can see how well the Netherlands have been serving, because quite a few passes are, in fact, around the three-metre line. So they've been putting good pressure on from that part. Still no place on court for Dalderop. This is still the best hitter, the best scorer for the team. Although, saying that, Ulutikas is now up to 14. Now Jasper's on 13. Timmerman on 14. And Luis on 11. You get the feeling one of those players is going to overtake Dalderop's score. And for Brazil, Paul has got 11, Gabi 12, Tianara 12. And Anna Trees has got seven. What a roller coaster. Netherlands took the first set 25 21, then lost 28 30. Brazil took the next 25 20 before the Netherlands took the last one 25 18. And now it's the race to 15. We still have to win by two clear points. And if we get to 14 all, we'll keep going until somebody does get two clear, just like we did in set two when we went past the 25 point mark. Hit the floor, according to the referee. Netherlands take the first point. Side out achieved. That's nicely done. Big swing from Jasper. Slide behind, Timmerman goes deep. And that catches Mayana by surprise as she went running in for what she thought was going to be a short ball. Oh, big swing from Paola.
Tiana can't bring it into play. And the Netherlands will take the point. Another slide, another swing to the line, but it's dealt with by Leia. And it's Gabby who is successful in putting that one away down the line to give the lead to Brazil. That's so well done, not to over-rotate, but to swing directly to the line. Delicately done by Uri Luticus. <laughs> Gabby once again. Well, it's going tit for tat at the moment. Good up. But well watched by Roberta. Dickman trying to get out wide for a swing, but it went straight to where Roberta was waiting. Nicely played through the middle. Shoot ball, Lois with lots of room. not coming back the crowd go crazy Netherlands are back on level terms we're one point away from the team's changing ends what a great dig that was by Knip got one shoulder under the other kept it back in towards court So the teams change ends. Brazil with a one-point lead, but still very much a case of all to play for. Perhaps within the reach of the Netherlands. The last time they beat Brazil was in 2007 in Ningbo, China. Then it was by three sets to two. The Netherlands would go on to win the World Grand Prix. Could they get another win here, only 12 years later? Meyers keeps it in play, but there's a chance for the Brazil to 
extend their lead. They have done. That's a good swing from Gabby. A big point from Brazil. They've got it from the serving line. Timeout called by the Netherlands. Still getting very much involved here at the Omni Sport. Right behind their team. Also, the Brazilian fans right behind their team at the moment. They have the lead by two. Hashtag enjoy VNL if you want to see what's happening on Twitter. So they are enjoying the action here in Appledore. That's an absolute beauty cross court. That one was taken to Spike Town by Marek Jasper. Really good work from Digma and great work from Jasper to get past the two blocks. Luis with the serve. Oh, good work by Gabby. That's gone off the head. Of the Dutch block, I think it's off of Mayers. In fact, it was Jasper, and it's gone off of her eye. She's kind of felt that one. And she's got a contact lens in, and just making sure that that's still in where it should be. Gabby apologising. It's never intentional. She seems okay. Target for the serve now, though. Indeed, she is, but that's a good ball in by the Luticus, but a little bit too tight to the net. Dietmar can't control it. Brazil now in a commanding position in this deciding set. Good ball in from Jasper. And a good ball hit to the floor by Timmerman. A couple of points from serve for the Netherlands, and it'll be game on again. Brazil done so well to get the lead, to deal with everything that the Netherlands have thrown at them. That's a great set. That looked to be in cross-court. Referee's not sure. I think the referee might just have a little look himself. There's a lovely set behind. Oh, that's out. So it's been called as out. Brazil are challenging it. I think it was in. Amazing, isn't it? When you get different angles, when you're looking at the monitor, when you're watching at home, wherever you're watching from, and you think, well, that looked in. And then when we saw it from the overhead, it looked out. And we're going to see it now from Hawkeye. And it is out. That's a big point for the Netherlands. Ha! See there, it looks miles in, doesn't it? Until it hit the floor. Brazil have called a timeout. Primar is not taking any chances.
two and a half hours of play. And it's beginning to look like Brazil are going to win this one. However, Netherlands still have opportunities. They have the serve. Brazil looking for side out. Oh, good up from Nip. Well, Dikma in the wrong spot, suddenly finds herself at four because the Netherlands had switched their blocking around. And now it has to go out wide. Oh, it's a bit tight. Brilliant play, absolutely brilliant play. But even better from Roberto. Well, would you believe it? The two setters having to get involved with attacking. Dikma didn't want to. In fact, it was Gabby who had that swing and it come off the block. But it was Dietmar who got called out of position. But now Brazil leading by two. Have the serve, and it's a serving substitution. On comes Macris into the back row. Miani going off, Roberta also going off. Lorena back in. Slight delay while they sort this out. Or are they going to be allowed to make the second one? Maris. So it's telling them how many substitutions have been made. Because if they've made six already, that means Roberta's stuck on court and Macris won't be coming off either. Might have to play Cuban-style volleyball, two-set a system. Which it looks like they are anyway, because Roberta's still on court. <laughs> Ooh, tell you what, Jamie Morris is not too happy either at the moment. It's all kicking off. Lost between these two teams right now, that's for sure. Morrison just losing his cool for a second, and then that's nice to see. Good sporting spirit saying and going in and, and apologizing to Grimares. So Macris will serve, Roberta's going to stay on. having a word with Gabby it may well be to do with the uh, Guimaraes outburst and he's just telling she's just telling Guimaraes you need to be uh, quiet so away we go Macris in really is a serving substitute here but two good defenders and ball players on court in the back row for Brazil Macris playing at six not where she normally plays that one's gone wide well unforced error from the Netherlands and Brazil now lead by three Netherlands are going to have a little look, though. Looking at ball in, ball out, which means that uh, the Brazilian players can't leave the court. It's not a um, timeout. But they can't stand there and Guimarães can't talk to them. This really does need to be in for the Netherlands, doesn't it? Who'd be a coach? Out it is. And the match is beginning to move out of the Netherlands' reach here. Brazil need two to get the job done. Macris serves once again. Jasper works the block. A point has gone the way of the Netherlands. Anna Patrice is furious with herself that she allowed that to happen. 
Netherlands make a change. Last throw of the dice for them, potentially. Diekma off. And Indy Bayens in, big blocker at the net. Three big blockers at the net for the Netherlands. Jasper with the serve. It's a great serve, kept in place somehow by Roberta. Chance here for the Netherlands. No, no, it's not going to happen. Knip just took it further away from her teammates, and it is now match point for Brazil. Paul has gone off, Loren has come on. There's the second part, well, it should be. I thought uh, Roberta would have gone off. Macris could have stayed on. But Loren has come on to serve. Diekman has also gone back on court for the Netherlands. Macris has gone off, replaced by the Libero. So not a substitution. Clever use of the Libero by Grimares. Lorena with the serve. A serve for Brazil, and they have wrapped it up here in the fifth set. 15-11, Brazil have beaten the Netherlands in the Appledorn by three sets to two. What a fantastic game of volleyball we've seen here. Confirmation of the scores, 15-11 in the decider, 3-2 in the end for Brazil. What a brilliant, brilliant game of volleyball. Fans on their feet, they've witnessed a fantastic spectacle. Just not quite enough in the end for the Netherlands. And Brazil will be very pleased to have got that one and seen the Netherlands off and got their victory. Very much a case of uh, new look teams for both countries. This is how it was done. An ace serve right over the top of Luda Ludicus, who's let that go, it's miles in. That high line not working, one that needed to have been volleyed. She was never in a position to volley it and not even in a position to pass it either. This is what Grimares thinks. That's day one of week two here in Appledore. Decided still two more days of volleyball action to come here at the Omni Sport. All four teams will be in action again. Poland, Bulgaria, the Netherlands and Brazil. Here are the stats for the match overall. Look at that, 59 attacks each. Netherlands with 19 blocks to 11. They outserved them, outblocked them, but look at those errors. 40 errors by the Netherlands, and it was the difference between the two teams in the end. This is how the table currently looks. Brazil have moved up into fifth spot. That would be a qualifying position to go to the finals.